Today on GI Dojo, we're going to look at the Undercover Agent figure set from the GI Joe Timeless Collection. This set is dated on the box from 2002. I've uh, already unboxed him, and uh, we're going to check out all the accessories. Let's have a quick look. Okay, here's the back of the box. It's a little blurb talking about the uh, history of the GI Joe Adventure Team and uh, specifically the undercover agent. If you'd like to read that, just pause the video. Uh, here is our equipment list. We got the G.I. Joe Timeless Collection figure. It comes with a trench coat, a face mask, uh, bulletproof vest, belt, boots, knife with sheath, three grenades, shirt, pants, tie, map, map case, message decoder, flashlight, binoculars, uh, case, or I'll call it an attache case or briefcase, gun barrel, pistol stock, dog tag with chain. Uh, the dog tag is really cool. It's, it's uh, you know, full, fully metal instead of plastic like the originals. Um, now these figures from the Timeless Collection, uh, like the, mas the masterpiece before them, um, some of them do arrive out of the box with cracks. Uh, when I took his uniform off, his bicep had a crack in it. Uh, but, you know, they're they're holding themselves together for the most part. Uh, now, it's interesting, the original undercover agent action figure, or, or the undercover agent set from the 70s, came with a brown shirt and black pants. Uh, and it didn't include all of these accessories, but it did include some of them, which I'll, uh, I'll list in a second here. Okay, now this is probably the cool, one of the coolest box sets that's ever been released for G.I. Joe, especially from the Timeless Collection. Um, you know, let's take a look at this briefcase real quick. So, it's designed in such a way where you can, there's a hole in it, and for play value, you can pretend that G.I. Joe can carry the case like this and he can actually shoot people, you know, a la James Bond or, uh, you know, different secret agents. Now, when we open that case, Let's see here. It's a little hard to do one-handed. Oh, popped apart. <laughs> uh, so this is like a tape recorder, or maybe this is what the box calls a message decoder. Uh, here's our sniper rifle here. You know, you attach the pistol to the barrel and the pistol to the stock. Let's do that real quick. Apologize for the one-handed fumbling, guys. Uh, here is that pistol turned into a sniper rifle with the uh, extended barrel and the clip-on stock. Uh, again, there's our, our tape recorder, our message decoder. I uh, got these binoculars, map case with maps, uh, the three grenades. Um, now, I, earlier I said that the original set came with black pants. That's a mistake. They actually didn't come with any pants. Uh, you know, it looks, I think it looks better, com, you know, com, combined with black pants. That's how uh, Vintage3DJoes.com shows it. Uh, also, you know, on the website, in a different part of the website, they, uh, you know, show it with like the olive drab pants and the trench coat. But uh, really, you can use any pants you want. Um, if you put like this vintage set together, or if you just don't like the brown on brown, um, you know, it doesn't have to be, uh, to make it accurate, you can, there's no way to really make it accurate. You can just use whatever pants you want. Uh, here's our bulletproof vest. Still trying to figure out if it's better to go under the shirt or on top of the shirt under the trench coat. Uh, here's our belt. Pretty good quality. I mean, not amazing, but good. Uh, this belt is really, or this uh, tie is really cool. There's actually a little small snap. Uh, I have the Air Force dress outfit, the 40th anniversary dress outfit, and it actually has like a clear rubber band for the neck, the necktie. Uh, and I'm worried about that you know, rubber on that rubber band perishing over time, but this tie will last, you know, virtually forever. Uh, let's go ahead and suit him up and see what he looks like with all the gear on. Oh, and I neglected to film the face mask. I had it on, on my other table. Uh, this is arguably like the coolest part of the set. Uh, you know, it goes right on G.I. Joe's face there. Um, my tip on how to hold it on there is either, you know, display it with it, him holding it in his hand or in the past I took some white poster putty put a real small dot inside of the nose and stuck it on his face and it held um you know held on display for 
on the shelf for like a year. Okay, guys, here's our undercover agent. Got him all suited up, like a secret agent. I took the face mask and uh, with the collar popped on the trench coat, it holds it in place, kind of similar to the picture on the box. Uh, you can't really see it, but underneath the, um, you know, underneath the trench coat is the bulletproof vest on top of the shirt and tie. Uh, we've got our cool all metal AT dog chain. I uh, took the uniform off and kind of straightened it out a little bit, made it a little bit look a little more presentable. I do that with all my action figures whenever uh, they come and the uniform's a little wrinkled. Uh, here's our attache case with the uh, barrel of the pistol aiming out of the side so he can shoot people secretly. And these are the accessories that came with the kit, and I'm not going to display him with the accessories because I feel like if you had a knife on his leg or grenades strapped to his belt, uh, he would no longer be undercover. So I'll put those in the foot locker and I'm gonna display him with the rest of my adventure team figures looking like this, so. This is the Timeless Collection Undercover Agent action figure set. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. And thanks for watching GI Dojo, guys. Have a good one.